Hey folks, it's America from America's Abstracts bringing you a fresh new video. Um, I am going to show you how I mix up my pigments. Um, I have two pigments that I need to do a refill on and they are this little piggy pigments from Fluid Art Co. Hands down, they're my favorite pigments to date. Um, I've done the Pearl X pigments. I haven't tried Color Art yet. Um, but from the sounds of it, you don't get that much for how much you're paying for it. Whereas like, I mean, I'm getting 20 grams of pigment. Like, as you can see, it's quite a bit and some colors definitely last me a lot longer than others, but overall I'm not using a crap ton of it, which is great. And it's amazingly vibrant. Um, but like on average, I think they're like 14, if I remember correctly, uh, per container. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely stocked up. So I, like I said, I have a couple that I need to mix up. And so what I'm going to do uh, is first things first, grab a little bit of my Drusonia's gloss varnish. Um, and I'm going to squirt that in my containers, just enough so it would be liquid, and, oh, first things first, safety first, since I am dealing with pigment powders, I am going to put on my respirator mask, yay, alright, so I got the little bit of the Jasonius with gloss varnish in there. And then what I do for each color is a half tablespoon of pigment and to make sure that it's an even amount, I always uh, Okay, fine. I'll just use the top. I usually try to use the little uh, protector thing in there, but it's being difficult, so... And then half teaspoon, plop that in there, and then just kind of start to work in that Josanias into the pigment. I found that if I use just like a basic like pouring medium, like uh, like my artist lot pouring medium, the colors don't, they're not vibrant. And if I use just polycrylic for some reason, my uh, pigments end up being super thick. So, I just kind of slowly work my this into it. Pretty much until I can see that there's no clumps anymore. I love this simplicity. It's just a pearl. And I'm using it on my ornaments that I'm doing right now for a custom order. It just gives like a gorgeous pearl shine. All right, so that one's good. Let's get the taffy, which is a cobalt blue. All right, move this shimmer, not shimmer, but move this simplicity out of the way. And then I got my taffy. Look at how pretty that is. Like, can you just take a moment to it, like admire that gorgeousness? Like, holy shit. Make sure it's even both ways. Oh, that see, and then it falls out. Ugh, whatever. Alright, so I got my half table half teaspoon. Plop that all in there. Try to shake off any excess because I know it's fairly inexpensive, but I do try to keep all that I can and I just can't get the rest of that. So close this. And I just want to say while I am doing this video, I am not a paid advertiser for this little piggy pigments or fluid art co. I just really love their products. 
Um, so far to date, with the exception of their new releases that will be releasing soon, I have every single color that they have available, and I just, I always want more. So, so just the same thing that I did with the simplicity, just kind of work it in. You don't want it to be a paste, but you don't want it to be too liquid either. You want it to where it's just a nice base to then pour your pouring medium into. Alright, so now that that is all mixed in, I am going to take off my respirator mask, because now that I have all my pigments closed, it is fine, and then I'm going to grab my pouring medium, which is one to one to one, uh, one part Sherwin-Williams to deep base, blah, 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 and then one part polycurulic, and then one part just Sonia's. And then, just a couple tablespoons. And then just mix that in. God, look at how pretty that is. It's just such a good cobalt color, seriously. Oh my gosh. Look at that shine. Like warm honey. And then, same thing for my simplicity that I have. Two tablespoons. There we go, like warm honey, perfect. See, the whole reason why I do one to one to one for the pigments is because they themselves aren't thick or thin. They kind of will morph into whatever you do as your um, wetting process. And so that's why I use just Sonia's and it really helps to keep that vibrancy there. As you can see, that's still a very vibrant blue compared to the container. Hope you found my video informative. Of course, make sure to like, subscribe, share if you know anybody that has been looking for how to mix up pigments for the Shelly Art style. Um, if you want to learn the Shelly Art style, my code is, to be able to get 15% off for a course is in my description of the video. I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.